Hey. Hey. Today we are going to introduce our Mac Lab. What lab? Mac Lab. On this beautiful blue planet Earth, in a beautiful country named Korea, there's a city named Daejeon, where KAIST, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, is located. On the northern side of the campus, there's a beautiful red brick building, the building of Graduate School of Culture, Technology, and Mac Lab is here. Ah, uh, yeah! Mac Lab stands for the Music and Audio Computing Lab. This is our lab office, the room with the gorgeous white colors and cozy warm lights. Whoa, this desk even moves! And here's our studio, one for acoustics and one for electronic bass sounds. Straight up! We do experiments, demonstrations, and even jams and concerts in these brilliant rooms. There's a meme that a CD Dejan is famous for its calmness and a bit of boredom, but with our Professor Juan Nam and 22 fellow students, 9 of masters and 13 of PhD, here we are making beautiful noises toward the harmony of music and technology. Blessing! We work on various topics. What's that? Like this much. Whoa, that's a lot! Yes, that's a lot. We're gonna spend all the time of this whole session to go one by one. No way! So, here we prepared some cool demos of our works. That's better. So there you go. Deep, deep inside culture technology, there's a story. That same voice never stops from a laboratory. But no one saw the truth. Is she a ghost or is she a monster? Is she want us to find herself? One day, a brave MR researcher take a journey to find out the truth. How many days is it past? Three years? Four years? Or longer than PhD? Finally, he came back from the journey. And he said, there's only a score, a lyric, and a computer. Singing voice synthesis. Then one funny Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph with the arms so bright, Won't you I my sleigh tonight? The study of musical performance is also one of our main curiosities. I'll give you a quick overview of what's going on at MacLab. First, we study automatic music transcription to extract performance information. We try to capture lively details of a performance, so we focused on getting perceptually non-destructive output. Here's an example of playback of transcribed MIDI. Transcribing and aligning allows you to analyze performances in a number of ways. Identifying musical characteristics is also one of our main concerns. We also have been made AI pianist called Volta for Net. Creating an AI pianist with specific characteristics is our next goal. We also collaborate with artists to perform performances and exhibitions. Most recently, we also started motion integrated music performance results. So please stay tuned. Okay, thanks guys. My name is Won Yeo Kim. Let me start my session. In contemporary music creation, many music producers love the sample-based music creation method. In this sample-based method, finding appropriate samples is the most important task. For instance, if you want to make a drum track, then you should find appropriate sample of kick snare, and hi-hat. You know, but most of the names of the sample are not quite intuitive like this. Can you imagine what is this sample sounds like? So we should listen to all of the audio samples one by one. With our research, you can find appropriate samples without wasting time. Many producers, including me, we usually pick reference songs and produce music based on that. Inspired by this idea, we studied drum sample retrieval in mixed audio. With metric learning, we trained the model to place the positive sample pair closer and negative sample pair move away. In this task, the anchor is mixed audio and positive and negative samples are single audio samples. And with conditional similarity networks, you can retrieve different classes of samples with one single model. Just input mixed audio you want to retrieve sample and instrument class that you want. Then you can find samples used in mixed audio, like this. Text query express our musical needs. 
We search for music by artist, title, or genre, or contextual word. But sometimes our streaming service doesn't understand our query because music doesn't have any annotation of this type of query. To solve this problem, I use our word to back method and train joint embedding space with music, artist, and words. Uh, in this joint embedding space, we can search for music using um, not only the 50 tag, but also we can use uh, more than 10 million words. So we can search by the mellow beat R&B, like this type of multi queries. Never just sing Cory like a forest. Well, that was pretty much of it. Thanks for listening and hope you enjoyed it. Bye.